friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about the best tips and tricks that can help you fix offline CV not working issues in iOS 15 on iPhone and iPad. Apple has released iOS 15 with a ton of cool features, including the ability to use Siri in offline. Unfortunately, some iPhone and iPad users have reported that offline Siri is not working on their device. If you are also one of them, these tips can prove to be pretty handy. That said, let's get going. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. While it's not a solution per se, I would first recommend you to check out the compatibility because not all iOS 15 compatible iPhone and iPad support offline Siri. Keep it in your mind that offline Siri works with only iPhone XS or later except iPhone SE 2 and it supports iPad Air 3 or later iPad 8 or later iPad Pro 2017 and later iPad Mini 5 or later. Another thing that I would recommend you to do is to know what does and doesn't work with offline Siri. First off, I'm going to talk about the things that work with offline Siri. It's worth pointing out that you don't need to enable offline Siri in iOS 15 because it's activated by default. So here are the things that you can do with offline Siri. Opening apps, yeah, you can now launch apps on your iPhone or iPad even when your device is not connected to the internet. Next, you can control several system settings like dark, light mode, volume, accessibility features, airplane mode, low power mode, ADC, even when your device is not connected to the internet. Next up, you can also set and change timers and alarms using Siri when your device is offline. And yes, you can also play the next or previous song in the music app using offline Siri. Now let's talk about the things that do not work with offline Siri. Do know that when you are offline and ask a request Siri can't help you with, you will see I can help you with that when you are connected to the internet at the bottom of your screen. And there, any requests that require continually updated information like weather, home kit, reminders, calendar, ADC. To be more precise, it doesn't work with anything that needs an active internet connection, unfortunately. Next, offline Siri also doesn't work with more specific actions in apps. Unfortunately, offline Siri also doesn't work with messages, FaceTime and phone calls. Not just that, you can't play music or podcast, even downloaded content using offline Siri. So keep these things in mind while using offline Siri on your iPhone or iPad running iOS 15 or iPad OS 15. Another thing that I would suggest you to do is to make sure that you have selected United States English. The reason why I tell you to do it is because right now offline Siri supports only United States English. To get it done, simply launch settings app on your iPhone or iPad. After that, select Siri and search, then tap language and then make sure that you have selected United States English. Next up, I would also suggest you to ensure that you have enabled Always Show Siri captions and Always Show Speech. If you haven't done it, then go to Settings app and then choose Siri and Search. After that, select Siri Responses and then make sure that you have turned on the toggles right next to Always Show Siri captions and Always Show Speech. If you are still unable to use offline Siri on your iPhone or iPad, then I would suggest you to disable Listen for Hey Siri and press Home button or Side button for Siri and then restart your device and after that, turn on these toggles. To get it on, simply go to Settings app and then choose Siri and Search. After that, turn on the toggle right next to Listen for Hey Siri, press Home or Side button for Siri and allow Siri well locked. Now restart your device. Once your device has restarted, try using offline Siri. If it works, then you are good to go. Up next, it's time to go for the force restart like I had reset. The reason why I always recommend users to go for the force restart is because it's pretty reliable when it comes to fixing common iOS or iPad OS issues. To get it done on iPhone or iPad without home button, 
press and quickly release the volume up button then press and quickly release the volume down button after that hold down the side or top button until you see apple logo on the screen and on ipad with home button you have to hold down the home button and the top button at once until apple logo appears on the screen if you still can't use offline Siri on your iPhone or iPad, then it's time to factory reset the iOS or iPad OS device. The reason why I suggest it is because it is known as a radical solution but pretty reliable when it comes to fixing complex issues. So just in case if nothing seems to work, then it would be apt to give it a shot as well. Bear in mind that when you reset your device to factory settings, it wipes out all the existing settings including VPN, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so be fully prepared to set them up all again. To get going launch settings app on your iPhone or iPad, after that select general. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom and select reset. Now you have to tap on reset all settings and then you have to enter your device passcode. You may also be asked to enter your screen time passcode. Now a pop-up will appear from the bottom saying that this will reset all settings, no data or media will be deleted. Tap on reset all settings again to confirm the action. If none of the tricks has worked in fixing the offline Siri issue in iOS 15 or iPad OS 15 then I guess the problem could be due to a software bug and in this case the best way to fix the problem is to go for the software update. More often than not, Apple releases software updates with plenty of bug fixes and performance enhancements. That's why chances are pretty high that updating the software on your iPhone or iPad could be able to fix the offline CV issues. To get it done, simply launch Settings app on your iPhone or iPad, then tap on General. Now select Software Update and after that download and install the latest iteration of iOS or iPad OS on your iPhone or iPad. Now make sure that your device has at least around 50% battery and is connected to a strong Wi-Fi network because these are essential requirements. Once your device has been updated to the latest iteration of iOS or iPad OS, check out if offline Siri has started to work normally. If it has, then it's time to rejoice. That's all there is to it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix offline Siri not working issues in iOS 15 or iPad OS 15 on iPhone and iPad. Hopefully offline Siri has started to work normally on your device. In most cases, if you have taken care of the compatibility as well as know what does and doesn't work with offline Siri as well as have taken care of the requirements then you would be able to get over the problem without any issues. If you have found this video helpful make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks. Till then stay safe and have a great time. Bye bye.